Hey, what's up guys? Welcome. The purpose of this video is to get a little bit more experience with getters and setters. Now, one really useful purpose of getters is to basically combine various fields from a class and give it back as one value. So an obvious example here would be to take the first name and the last name and combine it into a full name. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So that's what I wanna do. So let's hop over to our user class. Here's what we got so far. We got two fields here. We can actually label this one as private now. And then we got a bunch of getters and a bunch of setters. I guess just two getters and then two setters. So nothing too crazy. So what I wanna do is I wanna go down here and add a new method. This is going to return a string and it's going to be called get full name. And it's real simple. All you're gonna do is say return first name plus a space plus last name. And because we're in this class body, we can access those fields directly even though they're private. That's why this works. Now I'm actually gonna take this and put it near the top because I think that's a more appropriate place for it right beside the first and last name like so. So we can see it right there. Let's try this out in the calling program. So getting rid of this line here, uh, we'll actually, we'll pass it into the system.outprint line and just say user.getFullName. Executing that, we get the same value, subscriber, but do note that originally sub was in all capital letters. And the reason that was is because the getter for first name was doing a two uppercase. When we do this get full name, that's not happening. So you need to be careful. So if you want to be more strict about how these are accessed, what you can do is you could actually use only methods in your methods as well. So you could say get first name and invoke it like so. Executing this now, you can see sub is in all capital letters. That is a safer and more appropriate way. So that way we make sure our own class doesn't violate rules. This method and this method is doing almost exactly the same thing, but I'm just gonna end up keeping both of them. We might go back and clean this out, but for now, we're just going one thing at a time and I think we're on the right track. Now there is some general filtering you can do for a set. So if you wanna customize the set, you can. So for example, you can say fn dot. This is going to get rid of leading and trailing white space. So if there's a bunch of spaces before or after, that's gonna get rid of them. So that's one way you can clean it. And you can also modify how it's stored if you wanna store everybody's names as uppercase or lowercase or whatever. Probably not recommended for names, but maybe in the situation of email addresses, you might wanna do all lowercase. So we'll just do two lowercase just to see how it works. And now when we run this, you can see we get sub still in uppercase. So basically it's being stored in lowercase. And then when we get that first name, it's actually being converted back to uppercase. So we're basically able to store it however we like and the presentation can be however we like as well. So another situation, maybe you're trying to store phone numbers and internally you wanted to store them as 10 sequential numbers as an example. But when you output them on the screen or give them to another method, you might want to put in dashes or some kind of formatting. That's what you can do with getters and setters. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check on the next video. I think we're gonna be talking about something. Mm. I think we'll create an array list. Yeah, we're gonna work with the array list of custom types. So that'll be pretty fun and it's gonna be essential as we get into more advanced programming. So check it out and be sure to subscribe.